So like we've used Khan Academy before, you guys are gonna be numbered off and do the different civilizations and take notes about the different themes. Andrea Glenn teaches advanced placement world history at Millican High School. Her Khan Academy reference centers on a new pilot program with the Long Beach Unified School District. Several years ago, educator Salman Khan began placing math help videos online for family members who lived across the country. Almost as, a, I think, a bit of a joke at the beginning, he called it Khan Academy because it was for all of his family. Um, but it quickly became popular because it was on YouTube, accessible for anyone. And so it just spread and spread beyond the family and gradually became what it is today. Today, the nonprofit academy creates video lectures and tutoring materials that include history, science, and economics, as well as the math used in Julie Santana's sixth grade class. Just give me your answer and we'll take votes on some answers here. So the reason that I um, jumped on board with the Khan Academy pilot program is because I personally have been using it for, uh, I don't know, six years. So I know its value, so I'm able to tell the kids, you know, it's a brilliant program, you can stop it, start it, skip ahead, whatever it is, you can make it work for you. We need to better understand the fall and the collapse of these civilizations. I use Khan Academy as a way to give them content that isn't just the textbook. The textbook is really dense and it's written at a very high level and the students struggle with that text. And I don't want to take that away from them. I want them to still learn how to read a complex text. But Khan Academy breaks it down in a, in a, a more simple way. We had over 100 teachers who agreed to, to enter this pilot and it's just been nothing but all positive. So you know it's working when you're hearing from the, the folks in the field how positive this has all been. We all recognize that the majority of students are reached in a classroom by a teacher. That that's where the learning happens. And so we know that we're not going to be helpful for as many students as possible unless we're helpful for teachers and classrooms as well. The partnership with Long Beach Schools is one of the first for Khan Academy. Khan provided professional training for teachers and supplies its online content without cost. And there's another critical aspect. The significance of it being a free resource is substantial, but even more important than the fact that it's a free resource is that it's curated and vetted. What we want is a measure of quality, and we want a measure of integrity in the content. We want to know that engagement in the content is going to produce an academic outcome. So what is the civilization that you're working on? Today we are studying the rise and fall of specific empires, so I'm doing the Han Dynasty, which battle, lasted about 400 years. Dynasty. Instead of having to so open a big textbook and having to read for a long period of time, in Khan Academy you can just go on a video that summarizes a huge like section of a unit in a five to ten minute video. We're in a generation where kids are have access to computers so early in life. We call them the digital natives because that's a part of their life. So our kids are really excited that they're learning math on, on a computer, doing fun games, even though they're still learning. My dad kind of calls me an old soul because I like older type things, but books are not my thing. Textbooks, no. So I'm just like, te technology, yeah, it's better for me. To be honest, to me, I feel like the videos could be the most helpful because he explains it to you in different forms and everything. So sometimes I watch a video, sometimes I just keep trying until I get it right, because most of the time they're just little mistakes. Our teachers are telling us how this is helping them to differentiate their, their instruction, how to help students who need uh, assistance, whether it be remedial, whether they can fast forward for students who need acceleration. This is our first year actually of piloting with public school districts here in the U.S. to try to learn about how we can make Khan Academy more helpful for teachers and students in those districts. So, if you missed some problems on last night's homework, or you're just feeling like, I just want a little more practice to be sure, that's where you should start today. There are videos and there are practice problems there. The online tutorials give students a chance to practice at home in addition to class. Khan Academy provides immediate feedback, letting students know how well they're doing. I was watching a video that Khan was talking about a problem and he said to pause the video and try it out so I, I tried it out 
and I didn't get the correct answer, so I tried it again. The second time I tried it, I got the right answer. She was able to see that immediately. It's, it's not doing 50 problems for homework and wondering how many of them are right. She knows right away, I did seven problems and only two of them are right. And tutorials are available in languages other than English. What we're very excited about is that these students are now able to access very complex content in order to continue their academic learning while they're also gaining their English language acquisition and English language skills. So Initial test that, results for Andrea's history class show a 20% increase in test scores so over class averages last year. And while the technology all, allows teachers to assist students, students with either remedial or accelerated work, it also provides real-time monitoring of the classwork underway. Spencer, who's sitting under the window, is watching a video about the Zhou, Qin, and Han dynasties. Uh, Vinny is looking at the same video. Uh, Kyle is looking at a comparison of the fall of empires. So I can see exactly what they're working on, which is kind of nice as a teacher. So this is truly a game changer on so many levels, not just the classroom activities, but changing for life. Long term, I think we'd hope to see that uh, teachers across the U.S. are finding this as a really helpful um, weekly or daily resource that they can use with their students across a variety of subjects. You know, sixth grade math is sixth grade math, but if they take away a skill like the ability to help teach themselves later as they move up in math, you know, that's something that I'm really happy I gave them. We see it as one of many tools to accelerate student achievement to better equip teachers to meet the diverse needs of students and also to bridge the gap between teaching and learning. Khan Academy videos have been viewed more than one billion times all over the world in multiple languages, including German, Arabic, and Chinese. The programs are also being provided offline, directly to students in rural areas of Africa and Latin America. One school in Ghana has even incorporated the Khan Academy into their math curriculum.